the Joe Rogan experience. Mm-hmm. Like everything that you do should be in worship, so to speak, to what you're, the ideal you're trying to create. Right. Yeah. And it, you can't do that if you're insincere. You can't do that if you're if you're just trying to be the packaging and not the item. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier that there's too many and I think this is part of the problem with social media is that people are intoxicated with this idea of having other people think they're awesome. Mm-hmm. So they they put out all this stuff to make it look like, you know, like they're this uh, amazing person and you know they'll put up these quotes and put up this shit. But it's it's not really what they're into. They just want you to think they're into it, and it comes off that way. Like you get, like one of my biggest pet peeves. Like, and I, and I was gonna, I posted a quote last night, or not a quote rather, but an image of uh, Miyamoto Musashi because mm-hmm. I got I got into the Book of Five Rings again. I, like, I cannot wait to hear what what just criticism somehow came out of nowhere to tell you what a, what a jerk you were, how wrong you are. <laughs> whatever, I don't know. Just, I don't know if there is any uh, criticism. I didn't pay attention, but what I was gonna criticize is I was gonna say that I have an issue. With there's a, a lot of people online. It's not even that I have an issue. It doesn't resonate with me. This is a better way of putting it without sure. being negative. There's so many people that are posting motivational shit, but they haven't done anything. True. It is uh, it trying to be anything. the uh, trying to be the packaging and yeah. not the item. You can do this if you feel that. Go do this. This is this is how you go get it. This is, what the fuck have you done? <laughs> you have to do something. And I didn't say this last night, but this is what I meant when I posted it. Like, if you want to take inspiration, there's something about the words of Miyamoto Musashi that are profoundly inspirational mm-hmm. because he's a man who bested over 60 men in one-on-one sword fights. So when he's talking about strategy where he's talking about technique and he's talking about preparation and you must research this you must look into this and you, this is how you go this is how you go about uh, attacking this is how this is how you play off your opponent's strategy mm-hmm. he's talking about life or death with a fucking sword you can't get more serious than it that it comes through in his words man even translation from japanese to english even though it's 400 years later there's something about that guy that it gives me goosebumps man when i read his shit all I, I fell in love with samurai philosophy a long time ago from uh, what Nitobe and uh, the Hagakure and there's even one called uh, Budo or, or Samurai Phlo- philosophy of the samurais. It's, I forget the name of it, but it's a, a really short, succinct book that really nails down some things. And I think part of why what they have to say is so 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 authentic and so so um uh real so to speak is because it's life or death for them you know mm. you're reading uh storm of seal by ernst jünger and uh you're reading this guy's take on being in world war one and mm. it's not that he was never afraid it's not that he didn't understand what war is it's just but him from his position as a soldier and the way he approached things and the way he even still saw beauty in these moments in living in that part of his life it's it's clearly somebody that uh, uh, that I believe has a good grip on being towards death, as Heidegger would put it, like being mm. embracing what it means to be alive. And by embracing that, you're also embracing the fact that you are going to die. Mm. It is not going away, that, that death is alongside you and you don't know when it's coming. And there's no need to because you're not supposed to be thinking about whether or not you're going to die or when it's going to come or anything like that. But you're, you need to be thinking about what you're going to do before that time does show up mm. and how you're going to do it and w- for why. You know, what is it, how, how are you finding meaning and fulfillment in life so that when when death comes along and tugs on your shoulder and on your shirt sleeve you're like all right well this is it yeah and those guys people that you, you've described whether it's musashi or any of those people what what comes out in their words is authenticity because of the fact that they have led these extraordinary lives and they have faced incredible danger they have lived there's there's something about that where you can genuinely learn from those people whereas there's a lot of people that really haven't, but they know that people long for those things, so they try to recreate it. Mm-hmm. They try to recreate these quotes, or they try to find some words that will inspire you to get going and and seize the moment and make the most of the the day and go out there and conquer and right. and and kick ass and, and it doesn't mean anything. It, it's all persona. Yeah. It, it is attempting to take on. It's presenting the persona of that kind of individual mainly because they know that 
deep down, all of us realize that there's weight to those kind of people, yes. you know, and uh, I'm sure Peterson would be like, it's the bloody archetype. You yeah, know, or something. it's exactly <laughs> what he would do. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs>